It is the 2nd of June, 2020. It's voting day here in Pennsylvania for the primary election. And um, it's time for a garden update. And the, the big news in the garden is that uh, we're going to have a very considerable constitutional change here. This, uh, the, the main program that I've been following since the start of this garden some years ago uh, has been to double dig and then to have one or two beds of these sort of long beds dedicated as compost uh, windrows and unhappily what I found the past couple of years is that I've been making a very fertile soil um, you can see you know it, it, it definitely supports a lot of growth um, this is spinach and there's uh, potatoes and and onions potatoes and there are some onions in there somewhere and there's a little horseradish and that's all that I have going this year um, so far it's been a weird year the, the the weather has actually been quite good for gardening and uh, you know under slightly different circumstances I, this could be full of a lot of of things at this point and you know be be done with a pea crop and starting into other things and 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 so on um and this year has just not not worked out one of the things that has been a, a bit of a problem this year <clears throat> and last year too um is that the fertility of the beds means that there's a lot of volunteer activity uh, otherwise known as weeds and it's more than I have been able to keep up with. And so this winter, I was looking at um, Charles Dowding's deep bed videos. And uh, here we've got some daylilies, which I've grown here specifically for food, food cropping. And they are producing some really sort of odd uh, there these these pods are really kind of unusual looking to me I'm not quite sure what's going on there um, anyway I was looking at doubting and his no dig method and I became pretty much convinced that that is the way to go um, but that required or requires uh, sort of sealing off the beds with some cardboard which fortunately I have a fair amount of it available to me so I think at least I'll be able to get started on that and then uh, putting compost on top of that and the problem with it is I, I experimented with that down here and you can see that the growth has been very good but um, th there's also a tendency to get a lot of volunteers going in there because the windrows of the compost that I'm making are not large enough to build sufficient heat to burn off or to you know to uh, uh, kill the weed seeds that are in there so I need to be developing a, a spot developing compost at, at a different spot or doing it somehow differently here so that there's a, a much larger um, volume so that it can get to the proper temperatures and not have the the uh, germination now most of these beds up here and and over here um, 
I had allowed to be uh, strawberries, but uh, strawberries are particularly difficult because they're perennial, so I didn't, you know, like uh, till, so to speak, or, you know, fork up these beds. I just let them go. And they would become so overwhelmed, with so, and you can still see, these were so overrun with other things um, that aren't particularly useful to me um, and are considered to be, you know, unsightly weeds by the powers that be. So, um, you know, that definitely needs to, uh, to, to be done in a different way. So I've got several different substrates here to experiment with. I've got flour sacks from Hammond's Pretzel Bakery and also a fair amount of uh, cardboard that also came from Hammond's. And I've got some cardboard also that came from Shanks. Um, and you're going to see how far that goes. Um, it, it looks to me now like I'm going to need a good deal more cardboard, so I'll have to keep keep searching or keep going going back to Hammond's or find some other kind of thing. But I've I've got enough here for for the start of the experiment anyway. So that's that's the basic news. We've got a peach tree volunteer here that needs to be trimmed up, and it feels like it's starting to rain. So I'm going to bring the tools in. See you another time.